Welcome to the Midnight Shift on Stevens Cards. Pretty sure everybody in the East Coast is already tucked in, but we're going to open some new Prism. Still trying to roll over on this DuPont shift to get back on day shift times. So I'm up. It's one in the morning, and we're going to open some cards. Got a little retail 2022 Prism. One exclusive green. And the upper deck... 2021 Skybox Metal Universe Champions. We'll just rotate. I'm going to start with Panini Prism 2022. I'm not sure if that will jump on. What do you say, JP? Yeah, man. Three Blaster exclusive White Wave and Purple Prisms. This new shift has me all turned around, buddy. So I've worked the last four midnight shifts and sat around watching that Padres Phillies game and could not go to sleep. So I figured why not open some cards? <laughs> Always got the itch, buddy. They weren't going to make it until tomorrow. <laughs> I pretty much knew that when I bought them. But uh, how you been, my man? Got a package heading your way if it didn't. Didn't arrive today, should be there tomorrow or the next, depending on the good folks at the USPS. Autofocus will tell us wanders on the front. Five cards per pack and six in the box. Philly squeezed out a tight one, it looks like. Padres making that rally late, but they held them off. This foil's being aggravating. All right, let's see what they look like this year. Probably not too different from years past, but not too bad. Centering doesn't look too awful in the beginning. Kurt Terry, rookie. Good on days now. Netflix. Beer for me in the moment. I don't check mail much. Better check it. Hope the Phillies win. Me too, buddy. Honestly. That's who I'm pulling. TJ Friedel for my Reds. Championship stage. I guess that's a new insert this year. And ooh, let me check to see if that was numbered. Maybe that was on the box and I've already forgot. White. That's pretty. White wave prism perhaps for Jake McCarthy. Yeah, I saw, uh, saw Schwarber and Bryce both smashing bombs and I like Juan Soto, but I definitely like the Phillies run a whole lot better. Gabe Arias and Andre Jackson. See a little purple poking out. Fearless Chris Bryant. He's got to turn it up. Nice silver there. Emergent. I do like those inserts. I remember those. Corbin Burns and Joe Barlow is going to be our first purple prism. Yeah, not too bad. Now, the checklist isn't horrible in it. Just, uh, Typical drawbacks with Prism if you don't like licenses or if um, just don't care for the design, but they're basically sticking to it. All right. Trevor Story. And some names, I honestly, like this right here, Alex DeGote from Houston. Speaking of, or Soto working in that late rally. Jake DeGrom and White Wave. Ooh, here we go. Nice Mike Trout there. We'll go ahead and throw a sleeve on old Trout White. Not too bad. Still with half a blaster to go. I'm going to check out that skybox, which really was a impulse buy. I won a hundred in a football pool, so decided to grab some retail. Figured it wouldn't be a loss. Jackson Reitz and Garrett Cole. See what I mean? Nick Fortes, I mean, I'm sure he's been in maybe another checklist, but Prism typically brings out a couple new names. Isaiah Connor falefa showing there with the Rangers. He started on the bench for the Yankees. I think they threw him in at the last second. Oh, 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 oh. very nice. How about that Spencer Strider? That's a nice rookie in the white. 
All right. Not a bad blaster after all. Of course, we wanted to see him anyway, and I really didn't intend on buying a hobby box. At around 125 to 135, I just could not see grabbing a couple of probably lower tier autos in there. Yes. Yeah, every rookie they can find that uh, falls in Panini's rules, I guarantee. They're probably on the checklist. There's Detmers. Hot early in the year. Yuli Guriel. Marcus Simeon in the stargazing. I remember that from days gone by. And Aaron Ashby, rookie purple. Well, they're not hesitating to put the rookies on the parallels either. That's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. We want Wander and O'Neal and all the cats. Not sure about the prospects. I'll have to go back and see. We got Sebastian Rivero, John Gray. Ooh, Seamall and that illumination. That's a sharp card. That's a nice color scheme with that. Yes, that Strider's nice. Tyler Gilbert is our green exclusive. And we're going Brandon Lowe. Again, the green not numbered, nor is the purple. Those are just the retail exclusives. All right. We'll tear one of these up. Seven cards per pack. Five car or five packs per box. 2021 Skybox Metal Universe Champions. And honestly, this is a lottery draw. I know they've got the metal gems in here that are pretty nice. Uh, autographs, I'm not sure how uh, they're distributed in the retail product. But, man, hitting the Tiger Auto, Jordan, something like that. It's worth the old 25 to spend on a blaster. That's what everything's costing anyway. I've just got to get over my dinosaur ways and accept that think the days of $20 blasters for 90, 95% of the product just isn't going to happen anymore. Now it might on a rebound or something if enough of this product, I guess, is left on the shelf, but let's give a quick shot here for everybody needing to screenshot some odds. Let's back her up there. There we go. I don't know how close we'll get for there still. There we go. But again, the metal gems and some of the inserts are actually shorter print. What we'll probably have to do is I'll pull these. I'll recognize something awesome. And anything mid to low level, I'll have to go back to the checklist and verify it. But again, across all sports, this is the Metal Universe Champions Edition. And they make a few different editions. But we'll check it out here. That's pretty cool. That's nice Corey Kispert there. They're pretty cool. Got the foil background to them. Let's see if we can zoom in, zoom out. We're at the camera's mercy. Ooh, metalized. Already something turn around. Lexi Thompson. That's nice. I think that's a shorter print insert. We'll have to check. Lexi Thompson. And Devonta Smith. That's pretty cool. And the Skybox Premium. Again, these foils are really nice. Nothing numbered yet, but uh, there's another Corey Kispert, and I'll have to check the parallel on this. These aren't too bad at all. Matthew Wolf, what we would call a speckle or mini diamond look, and that is, that's out of 299. Not too bad for the golfer Matthew Wolf. We'll move these out of the way here. Try not to scuff anything. We got two turned around. We got here Dot Richardson softball. All right. Oh, it's got the uh, base card number on the front. That's what those numbers are: thirty-nine and sixty-eight. And snowboarder Toby Miller. That's pretty fun, honestly. I mean, not a bad first pack and. Seems like it could be some fun boxes to rip. At least until updates released and we all go throwing our money at those flagship rookies when they come out. I'm hoping so. Like I said, if it's there next time around, I may uh, maybe be tempted to grab another box. Carlos Alasin. And Ken Gushi.
Toby Miller is a fresh foundation. Again, I'll have to check. These are cool. These really aren't bad at all. I'll probably pick up another blaster or two. There's Jalen Johnson, metalized Coppin State. <laughs> These are pretty cool. Got a nice throwback feel to them. Hey, Baron Laura. <laughs> wow. Not too bad. Fresh foundation. Little baseball force. There's Baron. Gene Montero, Troy Mullins. Ooh, watch out. I'll definitely buy another box. Trying to see what may discern these from the others, but I'm honestly going to have to just do a review and see. Uh, they're at Walmart in-store. Walmart in-store. They had some Prism out and honestly nothing new, but I think our restock day, JP's on uh, Saturdays, so this could potentially have been left from last Saturday, and there was only one of these. Here we go, Trey Lance. Not too shabby at all. Make sure. Very good there. Matt Savoy. USHLW. Hockey. Hockey. Jalen Green. There we go. That's not too bad. That's something because it doesn't have the base card on it. We'll check that out as well. There's Ben Simmons. I'm not sure why they're still putting him in checklist, but I appreciate it. Blast Furnace. Lots of inserts for these guys. We'll check these out for sure. Another Alicine. Ooh, Trevor's going to make the last two cards here. Very cool. Got Mike Mancius. Mance. Yeah, he's a trainer. I'm not pulling punches. I don't know who this cat is. I shouldn't pretend I know how to pronounce his name, but that's not too bad there on the Trevor. Very cool. Base number 60, it looks like. We'll get all these good guys sleeved up. I have a little research to do tomorrow. All right. Oh, very cool. Zach Wilson going to start us out in the next pack. I like the way they're treating... I like the way they're treating these cards. BJ Boston. Jaden Springer is metalized. Wilman Diaz, prospect. Heard his name. Plenty. Fresh Foundation Wilman. Oh, Carlos Cominares, rookie this year. Metalized. Very cool. Yeah, these are sharp. Seth David. We know Devonta Smith. There's another. Devonta and Seth David's a musician. Oh, from the Abbott Brothers. <laughs> Very cool. All right, now it's piquing my interest. I'll definitely have to grab another one of these if I see them stocked after Saturday. All right. There's another Matthew Wolf. Popular subject. Josh Christopher's metalized. Oh, wow. I did see this was a shorter print. Intimidation Nation. That's LeBron. Ooh. Sharp, man. These are sharp. Let's set him to the side. Side. Tony Finau. All right. Heard Tony's name. These are cool. That's another Ken Gushi. Gabby Butler. Nate Robinson. Basketball, but uh, also a little bit of MMA and Nate's background now. At least one fight. Let me get a sleeve on that LeBron. I'll set that other stack to the side. As soon as I finish, I will most certainly get these sleeved up. I do like the treatment for the rookies there. It's still a 2021 product technically, so... All those cats are having the rookie in these skybox. Yeah, I'm going to have to definitely check that one out. Because uh, I did see a few of those inserts were uh, shorter variety. And some were as uh, rare as one out of, I think, a few thousand packs. So we'll get back on and see. 
Plus, it'll make the next sale more interesting. Heck, a little variety won't hurt. We'll get rid of this last blaster. Then we may heat up a chicken pot pie. Try to sleep again. <laughs> All right. One more blaster for the prism. Go Yankees fan, Roger Clemens fan. What do you say, Ron? How you, buddy? Making that postseason name change. Very cool. I like it, buddy. I like it. Root him on. All right. What we got here? Jacob Robson. Again, names that I have not seen. Open another packs and sets for sure. Abreu. Jay Ram. Big help for the Guardians as their run-ins. Rookie class, Aaron Ashby. Not a bad rookie insert there. And our first white is going to be Kellenic for old Shalaney. Good deal. All right, five packs to go. We've got Zach Rex. Another white one poking out of the... Ooh, what'd we get? Get that old stained glass Tatis. All right, we'll take that out of prism for sure. And a blue? What? Scherzer? That's sharp. Band or not, that Tatis stained glass is nice. And a blue Max Scherzer. Let's see what this is, number two. Out of 199, tier three. Very nice. All right, maybe I'm hooked on it again. Don't tell me this is an autograph, Cody Wilson. Are we going to get a little auto with Kyle Lewis? Yeah, we are. All right, we'll take the Rook auto. Nice scribbles for the auto and a white Kyle Lewis to finish. Man, no complaints. No complaints. Person might be a little bit of a sleeper product. We have to snatch a couple more of these up. Can't do any. Worse than we do in the hobby for the money spent. These were 30, and I got to admit, these were 35, but I mean, my gosh, if you're going to spend 140 on four blasters, you got pretty much the same odds, it would seem, or close to it for pulling a couple autos. And Yanni Hernandez, old Blake Snell, nice McCovey there. And a J-Ram in the fireworks. I do recognize that insert from years gone by. And a rookie purple. Hunter Green for the Reds. Very, very nice. I like it. All right. We've got half of it left. Three packs. And we're going Bryce Elder. Former Reds, Tony Santian, Corey Seager. Oh, let's get it. What about a little Bobby Witt in green? Right behind him is going to be Ryan Villad in purple. I better not mess around. Let's go and get this sleeved and top loaded for the Bobby Witt in green. How sharp, man. How sharp. Love it. And let's be careful. Dang. I'm probably biased just due to the cards I've pulled out of these, but I see myself sneaking back out there in the next couple days. Wow. Bobby Witt. Let's get it. We'll put you right in front of the cruise auto. I don't care. All right. Two to go. All right, see that white peeking out there. There's Kervin Castro again. I watch plenty of baseball, man, and some of these names are still. I'm not sure what the uh, parameters are for becoming a rookie card. Now, this one you can tell, just a tad off center. But everything else has been nice. Not too bad at all. Elvis Peguero, have heard his name. Blackman, he's in every set seemingly. Sal Perez, not too bad. For the Royals and our Whites, going to be Jake DeGrom. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. One pack left.
All right, what we got? Shane McClanahan. Miggy Cabrera. Nice fearless there with Acuna. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Silver Hollow rookie class. O'Neill Cruz. Our last purple going to be Jose Siri. <laughs> All right, guys. No complaints, man. I'll try not to anyway, but geez, oh, Pete. There we go. All right. Well, that was two blasters of Prism and a blaster of the Upper Deck Skybox Metal Universe Champions. That's a mouthful. Uh, JP, hope your week's going well, my man. If you didn't see it in the chat earlier, this is what they sent me from the 2021 Chrome Update. Um, Sapphire with the pack that was, I was missing the pack that had the autograph in it. So they sent me this uh, G1 Bay Bowman Sapphire first auto. Not too bad, not too bad. And I think that catches us up, buddy. Ron, if you're still on here, hope your week's going well, too. Cheer on them Ranky, uh, Rankies. <laughs> Cheer on those Yankees if that's who you're pulling for, my man. I'm going to go back and look at these checklists and see what we've actually got out of these uh, Skybox cards, particularly... This Intimidation Nation here for LeBron. That's just a snazzy looking card. And even if it's not ultra rare, just a pretty card. Good job for Upper Deck. I know with the Fanatics uh, takeover happening, wouldn't be a bad thing to see Upper Deck step their game up. So I'm glad they're pushing product to retail. And it's uh, getting a little bit of love right now. Um, they're following suit like Panini and Tops are putting in the numbered uh, parallels in and trying to. Uh, trying to step it up like i said i can appreciate some upper deck so again heck we may see the same uh, couple boxes if i make it back to walmart a little more prism a little more uh, skybox uh yeah me too man like i said i've always always enjoyed it ever since chasing that 89 griffey and um like i said they've a lot of the sets that they've put out are, are high quality i know they got in trouble back in the early 90s for the overprinting, but I mean, to be honest, in the grand scheme of things, if we're going to talk about what companies uh, for cards have done wrong, I mean, where would you rank that among what Tops and Panini's done over the years? So I've definitely forgiven them and glad to see them pushing more stuff out. I'm just not a huge hockey fan. I don't know enough about it. Um, I know they're big in that market. Um, I know they dabble a little bit in some other things, but uh, I'm glad to see them pushing. Like I said, this is um uh, got that good one feel to it um but again that with the added parallels and uh like i said no no disappointment with the box see some names we know and some we don't but uh heck if nothing else that'll just get the old google machine rolling and we'll see who we're dealing with here that wouldn't bother me at all if upper deck took hold of panini that would bother me very little very little um i'd like to see some kind of merger or something prevent the old uh, Fanatics 100% Monopoly. Um, but that's going to be a big machine to try and stop. Big one to try and stop. All right, JP, like I said, buddy, I hope your week's going good. I'm going to get back on eBay and Google and see exactly what we're working with for the cards I didn't know. And uh, nothing else, my man. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. And uh, hope you have a good week again, my man. Uh, everybody here at Stevens Cards. Thanks to one or two of you that were stopping by for the midnight shift rip, and it'll be here for posterity for anybody who wants to catch it up uh, once it's posted. So uh, we'll see you guys around. JP, take care, and everybody else do the same. All right. Bye-bye.